Good morning, everybody. It is a fantastic day out fishing as always. Guys, guys, special occasion. Marty, Marty the party right here, folks. You guys know it is always a party with Marty. That is who I am with today. Woke up around 4.15, drove out here. It is 6.07 a.m. So touch before sunrise. You guys can see the sun is somewhat starting to come up over there. He said the juice happens. The juice happens when the sun is not up. So I'm gonna hopefully quit talking here and go fishing. I just brought one pole, which is not like me. I am more of a uh, a 27 pole pond hopper, but I brought literally a frog and my frog and stick, and that's all I've got. But before I get started today, I am hosting a meet and greet at Shields in Omaha, Nebraska on August 26th. That is a Saturday from noon to 2.30. They have a big hunting expo and I will be there hanging out you know, taking pictures, just chilling, talking fishing, talking hunting. Um, I'm also going to be planning on doing some giveaways. Maybe I'll bring a few of these rods here, give them away, give away some some swag, some lures, some mystery tackle boxes. It's going to be a fun time, guys. So from noon to 2.30 p.m. Saturday, August 26th, Shields. It's in the parking lot in Village Point, Omaha, Nebraska. I will see you guys there right now. Time to go catch some fish. Here we go, folks. Froggy, hoggy, doggy time. Don't step in the cow poop. Making our way around this fire pond, hopefully. Marty said there's some giants in here. I think I fished this one time, but I sucked here, so we're gonna see if I can have a little redemption moment here. Go out over this. Ooh, water's clear. All right. Let's see if we can catch a fish. There he is. There he is. I let him freaking almost digest the frog. Well, thank God I drove. An hour and a half. Got the old flare fish here. You got the scale, Marty? Might have broken the old PB. There we go, folks. That's what we came here for. See you, buddy. Whoop. Perfect. Marty was telling me this this pond here, it's kind of a one fish wonder pond for biggins. Like, he'll come out here and he only gets one big blow up every time. So, that makes me feel a little bit better about my life that I haven't had a big blow up yet. There's a bunch of small ones and then just a handful of just absolute tanks. Right now we're going after the tanks. No, no dink fish. No uh, squeak, squeak McGee's. We are not fishing in the nursery. Uh, yes, we are fishing in the nursery. I take that back. Oh, he came off. Thank goodness. That was another squeaker. All right, folks, we are headed out. Yeah, believe that. Look how, look, the sun's not even up yet. Yeah, that was like 30, 30 minute frog sesh. Kind of sucked. We didn't catch any big ones, but Mar that's what Marty said happens. It's either you catch one big one or you don't catch any big ones. Like it's, there's not a whole lot of big fish in here. And uh, he said they stop biting once the sun gets up. So the sun's getting up. We're gonna hit another pond though. The original Marty the Party Fire Pond. That's where we're headed now. All right, everybody, we are here, pond, dose, looking for big bass. We're on a big bass mission. Marty, Marty knows the juice here. The first spot, not as saucy as we expected, but that's okay. It happens, it happens. Fish just didn't want to cooperate. But here, this is a pretty fire pond. I've caught some big fish here, hoping to do it again this morning. Time to catch a toad. You have a fish? Oh, he spit it. I'm done. <laughs> Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He just had a three pounder jump off as I didn't even make a cast yet. I would say that's a pretty good sign there, Bill. God, that was a small one. We're doing big things this morning. Big things. There's one. Well, folks, I am following some random subscribers back to a potential fire pond here. No idea who these kids are or uh, or anything. I have no idea if we're going to be in a boat on the bank. Um, basically, these guys just hit me up as I was leaving Marty's 
and I was only like 45 minutes away and so I made a little detour instead of going home after a unsuccessful day of fishing I decided hey let's uh let's try fishing with some strangers some some random random people today they're taking me down some some back road through some cornfields so I'm either gonna about to go catch fish or I'm gonna get murdered you guys hopefully will find out soon here we go guys I am with some subscribers you guys are have to introduce yourself to the vlog this is in the back I'm Zach Zach Ethan 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 Zach Zach Ethan yeah that's who I'm with never met you guys right 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 okay you guys I didn't don't you think I'm lying? I don't know who these people are. I'm letting strangers take me out on a boat. All right, let's go uh, catch some fish. There's one. Yeah, chatterbait fish. That's a decent one. First fish for me on the fire. This is basically a lake. I was gonna say a fire pond. This is pretty much a lake. We're at the fire lake. You guys will be Fire Lake guys. That's gonna be you. I'll refer to you guys as the Fire Lake guys. Woo! There we go. Hell yeah. Dude munched a little black and blue chatterbait up on the dam. A little deeper water. There we go. See, buddy. Oh, we doubled. I did. That counts. We got a double. Here we go. We got Zach. Zach is in the back. He's kicking some ass. Here we go. Oh, that's a good one. Hell yeah. What are you gonna throw on the jig? Yep, black and blue jig. Black and blue jig, black and blue chatterbait. How about that, folks? <laughs> There's one. Dude, you hit it on the surface. Here we go, another chatterbait fish. Whoop! Cookie cutter bass. It's a fat one, though. At least they got some food in here. There we go, folks. Number, number two. This is good redemption after this morning. Me and Marty, the party, just could not put it together for the big ends. So I'm out here with Fire Lake guys. Follow them on Instagram, link down below, and uh, we're going to catch some fish. Oh, you're hooked up. Look at that. Oh, that's a big one. He's skinny, but he's got a big head. Okay, black and blue chatterbait, black and blue jig. Choked it. Choked it. I like it. There's one. Off that drop off. Yep. Here we go. Another one. Woo! Goodness gracious. Oh, I killed it. He's good. He didn't die. Don't worry, guys. There we go. Another ch ch chatterbait fish. I'm actually going to take off the chatterbait and tie on a jig. Because it sounds like fun. I haven't caught fish on a jig in a long time. So put down the old classic. Pick up the jig. Yep. Yep, yeah. there it is, a jig fish. Yes, sir. Finally, it took me about 20 minutes to catch a jig fish, but I done did it, folks. Flipped into a little brush pile, smoked them. I bet there's more. What do you guys think? Think there's more than one? Ooh. Oh, he dropped. He dropped it. He dropped it. Hit it again. There he is. He came back. He came back. Woo! Goodness gracious. Yep, that would be that'd be two for two in the old brush pile. Here we go. Another another fish on the black and blue. Can we go three for three, folks? Let's see. Right into the brush. Let her sink. Watch your line. Nothing so far. There he is. That's three for three. There we go, three for three. I think uh, they like the brush. They like the brush and the jig. There's no way, there's no way we can go four for four here. Here we go, four for four. Watch the line. I don't see it moving yet. Got him. <laughs> there he is, yep, yep. Oh wow, hi, hey, how's it going? Yes sir, that's four four fish out of that brush pile. Another one, they're all the same size. Got a bunch of cookie cutter fish in here. That's fun though, just literally one isolated brush pile. There's one, yep, that's a better one too, I think. 
Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. I can get her. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That is a nice fish. Three. Oh, not quite. Not even quite three and a half. A little bit lighter. Not bad though. That's a that's a solid fish. I'll take that fish. There we have it, folks. First big in of the day. Well, three. Three, a little over three and a quarter or so we caught five fish out of that tiny brush pile before hooking into this guy that's crazy that goes to show you guys you got to weed through the small ones got to pull those guys out those are usually the most aggressive ones then these guys hang back for the nice easy meal we're gonna get the release on shirley here bye shirley yep there's one come on well are you coming at me or is he four inches long four inches long bit bigger than the last one a little bit bigger still not giant still not like the three pounder i caught but i'll take it Whoop. this is just a fishing fish catching video for you guys folks hopefully you guys are enjoying um can't really give you guys any tips because i'm fishing a fire pond and fire ponds are just so fire you just throw jigs and chatter baits and usually you can catch fish but hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh fish catching montage oh. yep He's running at me. I need to reset the hook. Come on, fish. There we go. It's not bad. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll take it. I set the hook twice because I'm an idiot. Not a bad one. Another jig fish, folks. I've got to take off here pretty quick. Got a something. I don't even know what I'm going to, to be honest. Something my, something my girlfriend's forced me to go to, so I'm going to have to cut the fishing short here. See if we can catch a couple more fish before I gotta leave. Yep. Yep, there's one. No one. God, these fish come at you so fast. Another jig fish. Yep, back to back cast, folks. Right there. Woo! A little bit smaller. I'll take her. Found another saucy spot. See, you, buddy. 20 minutes later. Bye, guys. I am back inside the truck, ending it here because uh, we got grandma mowing, so don't want to disrupt that. We'll make sure there's decent audio for you guys. But I am going to end the day here. Fantastic day. Turned out to be fairly good. At the beginning, it sucked. Uh, we were going after just basically big fish, and we just weren't able to make it happen. And it was funny because I was driving home, and I'm scrolling through Twitter, and I see a DM uh, from, it was actually Zach that sent me the DM. And he's like, hey, you got this, you know, fire pond, whatever. And I, he like told me where it was. And I was like, oh, dude, I'm like not that far from there. So that's how I met those guys. They're just random strangers that happened to message me at the, the right time to where I was in town. Because right now I'm like an hour and a half away from my house. So we were kind of, kind of far out. Um, but it worked out. It's super nice dude. Shout out to Ethan and Zach for inviting me down. I will definitely be back. This is one of my top fire pond lakes in this area. So I'll definitely be back with those guys. Super sick dudes. And we caught lots of fish. I caught one good one. So that's good. Always a fun time fishing with new people, new subscribers. It's awesome, guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And peace. <laughs>